Got another exam question walkthrough for A level chemistry. So, this is number 25 in my organic mechanisms playlist. Video is suitable for all of the major exam boards, and I really hope you like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love you to do so. So, as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So it's quite an open-ended question, this one, because we've got to talk about substitution reactions involving an arene and a haloalkane. But for the case of the arenes, there's a few options we can go for. We can go for nitration, halogenation, alkylation, and acylation. So for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to do the nitration. And I'll just do the nitration of benzene, because obviously there's lots of different aromatic compounds we could nitrate. So I'm just going to keep it really simple. Nitration of benzene for my arene reaction. And for the haloalkanes, there's only one option, and that's the alkaline hydrolysis. So I'm going to look at the alkaline hydrolysis of chloroethane. So we'll start with the nitration of benzene. I'm literally just using this um, in the instructions in the question. It's kind of a tick list, a checklist. So there's no need to write sort of paragraphs or anything like that. So the reagents I'm going to need for this reaction are concentrated nitric acid and benzene. The conditions, I'm going to need a concentrated sulfuric acid catalyst, and I'm going to need a temperature of around 50 to 55 degrees C. And the mechanism is called electrophilic substitution. And when I go into the mechanism, I'm going to be explaining why it's electrophilic. So before we go into the mechanism itself, it's always a good idea to give the overall reaction equation. So there it is there. Benzene plus nitric acid gives nitrobenzene. So I'm just naming my organic product in case they want to see that. And we get an, a molecule of water as well. So moving on to the mechanism now, we'll break it down into its three steps. So step one, we take the two concentrated acids, react them together. And the purpose of that is to generate this NO2 plus ion, which is called the nitronium ion. That's going to be our electrophile, which it means it's going to accept a pair of electrons. You'll see that in step two. We also generate this HSO4 minus ion and the water molecule, which is the non-organic product that we've seen in the overall equation. So step two now, so we take the nitronium ion electrophile. So this is going to accept a pair of electrons from the benzene ring and they come from the delocalized ring of pi electrons so we show that by this curly arrow here that generates this intermediate which is unstable and the way it stabilizes itself is by losing this h as a proton there it is there um, so how does it do that a pair of electrons from this ch bond go back into the ring and reform the delocalized ring of pi electrons so that's how the nitrobenzene forms and this H plus ion. And then the final thing we do is we show the H2SO4 acting as a catalyst. So we need to reform it and that's done by this equation here. So we take the HSO4 minus ion that was formed in the first step, the H plus ion that's just been formed in the second step, bring them together and we get our H2SO4 back. Moving on to the other reaction now. So remember at the start of the video, I said I was going to do the alkaline hydrolysis of chloroethane. So my reagents will be chloroethane and aqueous sodium hydroxide, or you could use any metal hydroxide there. That's the obvious one to go for. Conditions wise, you just need a source of heat, so heat or reflux, you could say. And the mechanism this time is nucleophilic substitution. So I'll explain why it's nucleophilic when I get into the mechanism. Overall reaction equation is here, and I'm just naming that um, organic product, which is obviously ethanol. Moving on to the mechanism, much simpler than the first one. So take my um, chloroethane, put the dipole across the CCL bond, slightly positive on the carbon, slightly negative on the chlorine. Chlorine's significantly more electronegative. And I'm taking my hydroxide ion from the NaOH, showing the pair of electrons on the oxygen and the negative charge. And basically, a nucleophile is an electron pair donor. So what's this going to do? It's going to donate a pair of electrons to that slightly positive carbon. So that's obviously shown by that curly arrow there. And what's the knock-on effect of that? We're going to break this CCL bond. So we show that by a pair of electrons uh, going from the bond onto the chlorine. 
It's worth also saying at this point that that bond breaking there is an example of heterolytic fission. So the C Cl bond has been broken, so that's the fission part. Heterolytic, both electrons in the broken bond have gone to the same atom. And then obviously just need to put the products in. So we've got the ethanol there and we're going to get a chloride ion as well.